not ambushed. No, no, I was just surprised. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I knew you'd blame yourself. Because I was wrong. Is there any chance you want to sit down so we can talk? There. You try over and over again to be nice, and I just do something crazy, just like on the pier. Are you glad to see me? Even just a little bit glad? Yeah. Of course I am. I mean... Yeah, I'm glad to see you. Well, I'm glad to see you, too, Michael. I mean, I... I missed you. <laughs> I check my cell, like, every five minutes to see if you've called. I find myself, you know, walking by the pier or coming in here to have a cup of coffee, hoping to run into you. And I wonder how you are, and, and then I think of things that I want to tell you. And you're the first friend that I've made in a long time. So that's why I bother. <laughs> so, how have you been? Not great. I didn't get into any fights or anything. Well, that's good news. I've just been thinking about you a lot, too. Wishing I didn't say those things. I pushed you first. No, you were just trying to help. I wasn't being fair. I mean, you have to deal with whatever happened to you on your timetable, not mine. Why do you keep saying whatever happened to me? What do you think happened to me? I won't know unless you tell me, Michael. If you ever want to talk, I want to listen. But if you don't, I'm not going to be another person that you have to guard yourself against. You think I do that? You are so careful all the time. Like if you say the wrong thing or move too fast, something terrible will happen. When I was in Pentonville, uh, my little Jason taught me how to defend myself. And now sometimes I just react without thinking, like I did with you on the pier. Except I get violent, physical. I can really hurt somebody when it's not even about them. It's about... Um, I'm fighting somebody who's already dead. Well, at least you're fighting. I understand. You made a choice not to be a victim. I mean, that's the hardest decision to make. The hardest promise to keep yourself. I mean, not to just lie down and take whatever comes or, or hide whatever's hurting you with drugs or booze or... Oh God, I mean, there's a million ways to escape your life. The toughest thing is to live it. It's tough for you, too. Sometimes. You know, but I think about where I was what my life used to be, and nothing I ever go through now will be that hard. So when I'm stuck somewhere I don't want to be, I just think of the next good thing that can happen. Like what? Like when I'm working, you know, my feet are killing me. I tell myself in two and a half hours the shift is over and I will put on socks and sweatpants and turn on some good music and, and dance all around my apartment for myself. You dance around your apartment? I cannot believe I just told you that. Why? Th 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 that's totally embarrassing. No, I, I, I think it's cool. <sighs> Besides, I need to think of all the ways I've embarrassed myself with you. Well, you just don't need to be embarrassed. Neither do you. <sighs> well, how did you spend your Thanksgiving? It was a little weird. It was at my, my great-grandfather's. Why is that weird? Well, how much time do you have? <laughs> okay, well, now I'm really curious. <laughs> well, there was this huge custody fight over me when I was a baby. Um, in the end, my I got adopted by my father, who my great-grandfather hates. Uh, okay, I think I'm getting this so far. Anyway, I, I usually don't spend much time with my great-grandfather, but the way things worked out, 
I was there on Thanksgiving. And it made him happy to see me, so that was nice. Who was the rest of your family there? Well, I'm guessing your dad wasn't, but... My dad was cooking dinner for... His dad is an accountant, kind of a tradition. They, they cook dinner and talk business, I don't know. <laughs> um, but my, my stepdad took my mom and my brother and my little sister to Manhattan for the parade. I couldn't go because of my parole. Well, I'm surprised they left you behind. No, I, I want him to go. I mean, Morgan had a great time. Jocelyn, she's a little too young to know what was going on, but they got some good pictures with her, so... Oh, well, that's very generous of you. You know, to be happy they had a good time instead of being mad that you couldn't go. It's a parade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a football game. Now, that, that would be a whole different story. You, um, you do that a lot. What? You try to cover... You know, everything so everyone's happy. You make it so, you know, no one's worrying about you. It's very sweet of you, but it's got to get exhausting. I mean, covering all the time. I'm okay. Well, just as long as you know you don't have to cover with me. I don't. The way I talk to you, I, I, I can't say those things to anyone else. It's mutual. The you know, things I've shared with you, I haven't talked about in years. I don't know why it's just so easy with you. Well, it, yeah, I mean, I, I do know why. It's because you're so real and honest. And that is a very rare quality, Michael. I hope you never lose it. I need to go, actually. Um, you still have my cell number, right? Yeah, yeah. I almost called you, like, a lot. <laughs> Well, next time.